Hey guys, a lot of people have asked me, how can I rename my project? And it isn't easy, it's, uh, it's, it's some work. Uh, it is a whole lot easier than it used to be before it was a, was a yeah, ODBS was a plugin, but now that's a plugin, it's a little bit easier. It's probably gonna take us about 10 minutes. So let's, uh, let's do it. So I have here, this is actually the 2020-04-19 plugin. Um, I've already configured it, so I've gone to the default game I and I, I've gone to the RPG web thing, I've turned on, I've checked the thing that says dedicated server, it's all working, it's playing. So, I've already followed all those steps, and now I want to rename it to my game name. So, you're always going to want to make a copy here. Odds are that you won't do it right the first time, and you'll permanently destroy your project. So, make sure you make a copy. So, to do that, I'm just actually going to sit here and say copy and paste okay and we're just going to go with calling it my game so i'm actually going to copy and paste that okay <clears throat> and it's time to start going through so um let's start here with the u project you would basically be changing open world starter to my game everywhere that it is and we're gonna open this with notepad um, in some cases, you may want to use Control F, search, find the different places. I've already gone through and written them all down. So that's the one spot there in the U project. There you go here. This is open world local. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to call it my game local. Let's edit it. And we need to change this open world starter to my game. I've already pointed it to the right spot there. Okay. Uh, we now, after we've done those two files, we need to start at config. Okay, so we're going to go into default editor here. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Default engine. We've got game name. Okay, that's no good. Let's edit that one. Let's do a quick search for open world. Didn't find anything. While we are in here, we need to add all of the blueprints we can't fix we can't point them there's physically impossible there's no way to point it to a new game uh so what you have to do is you have to create what's called an active game name redirect so we got to add a section it's forward slash script and then it's engine dot engine that'll create the section we need and we need a plus active game name redirect with a plural, S on the end. Equals, we've got some parentheses. We've got old game name equals. We're doing script forward slash open. This is the name of the old module, open world starter. All the blueprints are pointing to that. There's no way to, no way to fix them because the blueprints don't open until, by the time it opens, it's too late. Uh, new game name. If you accidentally do this wrong, you'll potentially destroy your blueprints beyond the point that they will ever be able to open again. So you got to make sure that you get this right. And the new name is, of course, my game. Okay, we are going to double check. So you can see what we're doing here is we've got active game name redirects. We take the old game name, which was script, open world starter was the module. And the new game name is going to be script my game. Looks good to me. I'm saving it. Okay, default game I and I. You got a project name here. This one actually doesn't matter. But we'll edit it. You can come in here, change your company name, your home page, all that other stuff. None of that matters. It's not. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Superficial. Go through these other ones, but I already know there's nothing in them. So we got our config folder done. Okay. Um, what we need to do here is we need to delete the binary, intermediate, and saved folders. You actually do this every time you upgrade to a new version of UE4 or switch to a different engine, so that's pretty standard. Um, plugins we can actually leave alone. It's going to stay called ODBS plugin. All good. Um, and we're going to go into our RPG World server. Again, you don't have to do this step, but I want to go in. I'm going to do it completely. So what would happen here is that Open World Starter plugin now became my game. That's the folder. And the U project became 
my game, right? So that's just simple setup. Doesn't really affect UE4. It's more an ODBS thing. And now we get to the big one. We gotta come into source. Okay, we will start by renaming. So this folder becomes my game. Open world starter becomes my game. We gotta make sure not to lose editor. It's gotta be my game editor. And my game editor server. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll open these. I didn't mention it, but you will not be able to rename if you don't have Visual Studio 2017 installed because we are recompiling. Okay, so open world starter target and open world starter target. It's going to be my game target and my game target. And then the module name. Of course, we've been using the module name, my game. So we need that. We're opening up the next one. I'm leaving it open in between so I don't have to wait for it to load each time. Again, we're changing open world starter. We're changing open world starter. And we're changing the module name. And finally, the third one. We're changing open world starter server. Open world starter. And double check them as you go. If you get it wrong, it could be disastrous. Okay, we're coming in here. Uh, we got to change, rename this one. game build and obviously we want to change our cpp and h file names to my game we don't want any trace of open world starter uh, so we're going to go through these in reverse order there's nothing in the h file okay the cpp file i have no idea why that decided to load in notepad oh that bothers me okay we got to change open world starter open world starter and open world starter. Remember, this last one has double quotes around it. So primary game. Okay, good. And then this one, I think, actually is going to load over here. Okay. So we've got this, this, and uh, because of some stuff we did and how we're changing stuff around, you're actually going to have to add uh, gameplay abilities. Otherwise, you will get a you will get a linker error. That has to be in there. Good, looks good, looks good. Okay, now we have to go in the private, we don't have to touch, but the public, each one of these has this open world starter API in all caps. We need it to be my game API. Okay, we gotta open both, we gotta change both of those. Just part of Unreal Engine's build tool. Okay, so we're good on that. I think that we're pretty good. Let me double check my steps here. It's looking good, looking good. Okay, so I think now at this point we want to come back here. We want to right -pl click on this U project and say generate Visual Studio project files. At this point, I'm also going to close this since I'm going to reopen another one. I don't want them confused. Okay, I made a My Game SLN. We're going to double click on that. And after it opens here, we're going to come over to my game. We are going to set it as the startup project. Sometimes it helps to open one of these files so that this at the top points to the right project. Otherwise, you may be compiling the wrong project. Project. It'll automatically default to development editor, so we're good. We're going to hit the play button. We're going to see if we do it. Did it right. Some various errors you could get here. It might blow up on the Unreal header tool. That means your config files or your U project's probably messed up. It might blow up on compiling, meaning your your CS and CPP and H files probably have something wrong. Um, if it crashes due to saying something about an ability system, you forgot to add the gameplay abilities to your mod public dependency module names. And if it crashes after it loads when it gets to the blueprints and all the blueprints go crazy you messed up your active game name redirect in default redirects plural in default engine.ini because that's a blueprint thing 
Let me take a second here. Shouldn't take too long. There's some warnings. Oh, it's looking good. Let's see here. The moment of truth. Are there red airs everywhere when it opens? Oh, look. That's pretty good. So again, we'll make sure here. Run dedicated server. You know, uh, so it loses this, just so you know. Every time you dump the intermediate and save folder, it loses this run dedicated server. That one gets me so many times because I'm just used to it always being checked and then weird things happen. Yay! So we have now successfully renamed from Open World Starter to my game. And uh, so now, now you don't have to be like me and have 50 projects named Open World Server. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. See ya.